All right, everybody, welcome back to Farm Boys Garage. And today we're working on a 1993 uh, Chevy Silverado. And what we're going to talk about is DTC code 15. And this is going to apply to uh, probably 88 to 95 models and uh, 4.35057s and I think 74s, 454, I believe it's going to have all the same. So a DTC code is uh, 15, is engine coolant temperature circuit, sensor circuit, low temp indicated. So what happens on this coolant system, it comes from the uh, PCM, and you got a 5 volt reference signal sent down this yellow wire right here. And it goes into this uh, sensor, and there's a ground wire that goes into the sensor, and depending on how much ohms you have in this sensor is going to depend on how much voltage drop you get back to the PCM which tells it where the temperature is. So it's all based on uh, the ohms of the sensor. Uh, normally, at a normal engine operating temperature, it should be about one and a half to two volts on this wire. This is uh, this is the plug. The sensor is right here beside the uh, thermostat on this 57. And if you see the wires are yellow and black. So when it's plugged in, if you could back probe it, you could check the voltage on this yellow wire. It should be uh, one and a half to two volts normal operating temperature. This will set if the signal voltage indicates coolant temperature less than uh, 33 minus 33 degrees Celsius or 27 degrees for one second. So what it has, it's got a high voltage on it. All right. So if you don't have a uh, scan tool, which most people don't, uh, you can just assume you know, once you get this DTC 15 that you uh, it did sense this. And what you want to do is you want to disconnect the sensor like I have. You want to jumper the harness terminals together and you should display all the way over to the red, right? over 266 degrees or 30, 130 degrees Celsius on your gauge in the under, on the dash. And if it does display that, you have a faulty connection or engine coolant temperature sensor, go ahead and replace your sensor. Of course, you want to check your connection. If it don't, then you want to ground out this circuit 410, the yellow wire, and it should display that high temperature again. If it does, then you have an open engine coolant temperature sensor ground circuit, a faulty connection or a faulty PCM, which is a computer. If it don't, then you got an open circuit 410 going to the computer, a bad connection or a faulty computer. And uh, we can test the uh, the sensor with the ohm meter. Uh, you kind of have to know about where your temperature is on the engine. This one's fairly cold. You take and uh, get your ohm meter and you hook to the two terminals on the sensor and depending on what temperature you have is going to depend on the ohms. The hotter the temperature, the less ohms you should see. So if it gets down here to minus 30, you're above 52,700 ohms. That's what sets this code. So, you know, if it's ambient temperature, let's say uh, 70 something degrees, you should be somewhere around 3,000 ohms. And if, you, if you're normal temperature, you should be somewhere around 200 ohms. So, you can check it that way. Okay, so if you want to, uh, if you don't have a scan tool, get up on the dash. And you'll see the plug, it looks like this. And what you want to do is you're going to ground out the A and B terminal. So the top two, top right hand two terminals. I just use a, a paper clip to straighten out a paper clip and stick in there. You want to have the key off when you do this. And then you're going to turn the key on. And then uh, the check engine light's going to flash. And it's going to flash uh, three times the trouble code 12. 
and then whatever other codes you have. Now, 12 is uh, is just a normal code, all right. So don't don't worry about if you get a 12. Nothing uh, nothing wrong with 12. It should flash 12, then it should flash the code three times or whatever. However many codes you got, it's going to flash them three times. And then when it's run through all the codes, it's going to flash 12 again three times. So 12 is one one long dash followed by two short dashes on the uh, check engine light. So uh, if you don't, if you ain't ever seen that, uh, I'm sure you can find it on YouTube how to do this. Well, hope this uh, video helps you out. And if it does, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we're going to be going through this book. There's going to be a lot more videos to come. Probably not today because we got some grass cutting going on. But uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.